across an article by a fellow by the name of Mike Hewitt. He runs a website called DollarDays.org. I'll post a link over in the sidebar. Anyhow, the article interested me enough that I thought maybe I'd share a few of the highlights with you. By the way, good shot of the debt clock, Mike. It seems Mike did quite an exhaustive study on the history of paper currency. The first paper money was used around 800 AD in China. Wow! You learn something new every day. And apparently there are 176 currencies in circulation in the world today. That's a few. What really caught my eye was the drop in the purchasing power of the U.S. dollar. I noticed and kind of looked close at what it was worth in 1929, before the Great Depression. And then look what it's worth now. We might be in for some trouble. He goes on to note that in 1792 it took 19.4 dollars to buy one troy ounce of gold. Last February it took 863 bucks. Wonder what it'll be a year from now. I've done some reading on the Weimar Republic and of course Zimbabwe's got its own problems right now. But one thing's pretty sure you get too much money floating around and pretty soon it takes a wheelbarrow full of the stuff to buy a loaf of bread. In the article Mr. Hewitt found a lot of currencies that had been destroyed by hyperinflation. Almost as many as what he found in circulation now. As I read on what really caught my eye was a chart of the number of US dollars in circulation over the years. You have to look way over on the right hand side to see that spike that goes straight up. That's the last six months. If you've ever studied exponential function, you'll know where that line's headed. Look, if you're worried about your money now, you'll be burdened it to stay warm before long.